we need to remember and these children need to know. I started thinking, you know, just kind of planted an idea in the back of my head that just kind of sat there for a little while and, and just grew and grew. And like she said, the roots of this idea for a children's book took hold of fourth grade teacher Gay Sanders. Then suddenly I just knew the book needed to be written and I needed to do it. But as she began to write the book, Mrs. Sanders realized something. She did not have a main character. She needed someone to tell the story of the Oklahoma City bombing and someone to tell the story of the survivor tree. But then it quickly dawned on her. The main character had been standing above her this entire time. Yes, this book is written from the survivor tree's perspective. And then one beautiful morning in April as the sun shone brilliantly in that beautiful open sky. I felt excitement knowing the children would soon be out to play around my trunk. But at 9.02, the ground beneath my roots shook. The building exploded. I heard screams. Debris from the building hung tangled in my branches. The weight pulled at my limbs and tore the leaves that were left. And then it talks about the building, um, them building the walls and the reflecting pool. Around and on the far side from where I stood were chairs, 168 beautiful chairs. One is for the lady who no longer sits in my shade. Some were smaller than the others. Those are for the children who no longer play around my trunk. I have seen our very worst moment, and I've seen a city come back from that to rise from the ashes. A city that says we will never forget. I've seen the worst and the best. Oh yes, I've seen the best. I've seen Oklahoma.